Welcome to Vintage Gaming Memories. Shall we play a game? Your vision is our vision. Coleco Vision. I can play Atari today. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a short one, but that's okay because it's going to at least knock a couple of packages out of this pile. And I'm going to take two of them out. And they're going to be from two different sellers. Both items are really just things that you could admire more than you can actually play with. Which is why it's going to be a shorter video. Not much to show. But they are vintage in their own particular way. So let me show you which two we're going to open up out of this pile. Oh, by the way, this pile has grown. So that's what you've been looking at or at least seen in a few of my past videos. But... Uh, a couple more big packages came in, so I'd really, uh, I think I'm going to knock a big package out in the next video, just so we can get it out of the way. But for this one, we're going to take this one, which I think you could probably figure out what could be in it, and this one. So let's check it out. And like I said, I think you could figure out what this one is. So why not open this first and get it out of the way? Well, here we go. I had to move this from the workshop area onto the top of my pool table cover here because it's just way too large and it needs to be weighted down on each of the four corners because of how it was curled up and the thickness of the paper itself or the print, which I'll get details of that shortly. But this is a cool looking ColecoVision 40th anniversary poster that was created and signed by Tom Whalen, which you have his signature right there. Now these were limited print and you can see from right on the bottom left corner that this was number 161 out of 250. I paid $50 for this, which I would probably say it's a fair to really good deal, especially by the print number and the condition that it's in. That print number is supposedly machine numbered. However, it looks like it could be hand signed. And the uh, Tom Whalen signature is definitely hand signed by him. So here's a little background on this. You can see the years that's commemorating 1982 and 2022, do the math, that's 40, which is why it says 40. But Coleco, the company itself, has been around way before 1982. It was founded in 1932, but in 1982, that's when ColecoVision Home Video Game Council was released. This is why that the image on the front center here is the original ColecoVision, and then on top, there are the awesome Coleco tabletop arcade games. There are five that are shown, which are all identical as far as the shape and the buttons shown, but they do differentiate with the colors a little bit. Now, if you want to get a real perspective on those, I would highly recommend a video that I made last year. It's called the Coleco 7 Arcade Tabletops. I go through my seven Coleco tabletops in detail, and the link to that is to the top right here, or you could just search the channel for it. Now back to this screen printed poster, it actually measures 18 inches wide and it's 24 inches long, quite large. But now the paper that it's printed on is weighted as a 100 pound cream stock paper. Now if you're familiar with the weights of paper, that's very stiff and it's very durable too, which is nice. For example, you can compare this stiffness and durability to like business cards or even postcards. Now, obviously, it's not too stiff to roll up on that poster tube to ship it, but, you know, I've got weights on each corner here just to hold it down. Otherwise, it would just curl right up. Now, back to the artist here. Who is this Tom Whalen? Well, he's known as an artist for many of his works that are often offered to the public as limited edition prints like this one. I read a little bit about him, and it was noted online that his work often blends nostalgic and retro elements with a contemporary twist. And it definitely shows it right here with this one. You can see the colors. It brings a little bit of the past with the future. But it uses some colors here that are great because this is really reminiscent of 1980s. 
I think the biggest challenge I'm gonna have with this is probably finding a place to hang this up once I get it mounted in a frame. But really think about it, it's two feet tall by a foot and a half wide and not even framed. It's, it's gonna take up some wall space, but I'll find a place because I think this is pretty cool. I mean, especially because it's limited in print. Now let's put this to the side and let me open up the other package to show you what's in that one. Okay, let's open up this package and let's see what's in here. It's a patch, but what's on the other side? Well, here you have it. As shown, this is the Atarian Certified Game Player Patch from 1989. And we're going to open it out of the package here. And here it is. Perhaps some of you, or maybe many of you, recall seeing this patch before in the past. Because it was mentioned in the issues of the Atarian magazine from 1989. And this Atarian certified game player patch was advertised in all of the issues. All three of the issues, that is. It never really lasted that long, that magazine. But here's the uh, full page advertisement that was in all three of those issues. And check this out. What a great deal. For $15, you uh, get to join the club. And then you get an Atari t-shirt, and then you get this patch, and a club membership card. And oh, oh yeah, and the best part of it, you get one year subscription to the magazine, which would have been six issues in total, but it, like I said, it only made it to three. Now the measurements of this patch is three inches, and it's circular, so that is the uh, diameter. And it is the original. I guess they are remakes out there, but this one is not. Really good quality as far as the way it looks, condition-wise as well. And what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm not going to sew it on any clothing. It'll be just put on the wall next to some other patches I have that are original ones as well. So like I said, this is going to be a short video. Just want to get a couple packages out of the way and just show you what they are. Hopefully these bring back some memories. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to start opening up some more boxes and get some more videos out here shortly. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep that gaming passion from the past alive by living it today. Take care, everyone.